finally, 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 I am bringing you a tutorial on how I did this fluffy twist because you requested, I heard your plea. So let's get straight in the video and see how we did this. Mm -hmm. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Nkosi Kazi and in case you're new here, hi there. Thank you for dropping by and please make sure that you do subscribe, turn on your notification bell and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. If you're a returning subscriber, mwah, 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 you are the reason why I keep doing this and thank you very much for coming back to watch another video. So let's get straight in today's video. Like you have seen from the title, I am doing my my i don't know if these are micro twists or mini twists i don't know you can place them wherever <laughs> but yeah i'm just doing tiny mini twists i don't know if these days are called micro twists so but yeah so i didn't want to start from scratch because it's a little bit messy when i'm starting so i wanted first to build a foundation so that once i start plating you are able to see me um and what i was doing so ignore the lines <clears throat> i wasn't using a mirror i was only using my camera lens so we're going to ignore the lines and we're just going to focus on the technique hallelujah <laughs> okay so you see me um starting off with uh stretched hair i had stretched my hair previously using the african threading method in case you don't know how that works you can go and scroll on my channel i have a few videos about the african threading method and then i started off with um yes stretched hair no product yes i didn't use any product so <laughs> when you are stretching your hair make sure that it is well moisturized you use your leave-in conditioner you seal in the moisture with a butter or an oil and then you stretch it because that way it will be easier for you so there are different types of hair twists i do plait my hair sometimes when it is damp sometimes i do use mousse sometimes i do use leave-in conditioner but for this particular type i do not use any product at least when i am just plating so you're going to see me do the same thing uh, that is select a small section of hair separate it into three parts make a braid at the roots and then loosely twist it loosely i think that's why the key technique is when you are twisting do not tightly twist just loosely twist because when you are done plating you're going to spray some water and you want your hair to shrink up and then that space that you created when you are loosely twisting is what is going to give your twists that juicy juicy outcome so remember you select a section you separate it into three parts you tightly not not really tightly tightly but firmly grip <laughs> you firmly grip your your roots and then after uh, braiding for two or three times you separate those three parts into two or you make them two and then you loosely twist so i'm sure like the video is self-explanatory though i have sped it up but like at least from the beginning you could tell what i was doing and i i have actually put a lot of footage just showing over and over exactly what i was doing so it would be easy for you to follow along so i was going for very small sections because i plan on keeping these twists in for at least two months and that's what i do mostly when i want to retain length these are my go-to these are my go-to hair twists and those that follow me have seen me wear such twists a lot so when you see me in this hairstyle just know that my hair retention game is on so remember select a section separate it into three parts braid for two or three times and then share those three sections to make them two so you can share one section to make um to make your 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 parts into two and then loosely twist remember to loosely loosely twist but don't make them too loose 
but just loosely twist. The other thing is do not share hair. In case as you are twisting, you run out of hair on one part, do not share any hair because that is going to affect how your twists will come out at the end of the day. As your hair is going to shrink up to create that juicy look, it will, what's the word? It will be disturbed by that hair sharing that you're going to do. So your twists will not curl up or, or shrink up as you want them to. So they'll look a little bit stringy and that's not something that you want. Apart from that, it will create breakage as you try to take your twists down and it's going to take longer. So make sure that number one, you start off on stretched hair especially if you just want to do this particular twist that i did i'm going i'm going to make a video where i use hair products like a uh, leave-in conditioner water mousse to twist or a curling custard i'm going to make another video to show you how i do that but for this particular twist do not use any product make sure that you start off number one on stretched hair stretched hair but stretched hair <laughs> number two make sure that um yeah you loosely twist no number two make sure you start with a braid at the roots number three make sure that you loosely twist your hair number four no borrowing no borrowing of hairs make sure when you make those two parts you make you ensure that they will run through the whole twist to the end you don't have to borrow hairs because it's going to affect the outcome of your entire twist as you twist also make sure that you're gentle on your hairline you're also gentle on your scalp very important because you want this to be uh, a protective hairstyle make sure that you are gentle on your scalp and your hairline so this took me like four hours to do and just because i was watching movies and chatting on my phone and i was stopping here and there because i got hungry i had to cook and eat but normally if i was just plating seriously seriously it would take me two hours and a half or three hours maximum so i was ah uh, finally at the last sec oh, the last two twists the last two twists and it felt good it felt good because at this point it was zero zero because for some reason i always decide to plait my hair in the night mostly that's when i have free time and that's when i find it fun to do my hair so at this point it was zero zero twenty four it was a new day and i was exhausted i just wanted to sleep and the following day oh actually it was already the following on this same day i had to wake up at four to to prepare and leave my house so i just had to sleep for like three hours or, or less so finally i was on the last braid and it felt so good it felt really really good and the thickness the thickness when i just run my hand through my twists like it feels so nice like i can do a lot of hairstyles i can do Pemerod sets, flexerod flexi sets, cornrows, bantu knots in these mini twists. Like, feels good. So that's how my hair was looking when I was done plating. It looked so pretty. I wanted to leave it like this because, yeah, it was giving fluffy twist vibe. But then I had done fluffy twist prior to this and I that's not what I was going for. That's not what I was going for. So when I was done checking out myself, I went in with my misty bottle, my continuous spray mist bottle with my hair growth tea. Yes, I used my hair growth tea to make sure that that th those twists shrunk so that I can have that juicy, 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 juicy look. So I just made sure that I sprayed it at the ends of my hair on my scalp so that I can have that nice, nice feeling because the tea has peppermint in it. I wanted my my hair to grow. I wanted it to feel pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. I didn't want dandruff. So I just made sure that I sprayed my scalp and the rest of my twists and the ends, very important. The ends too gave my scalp a good massage and then just let the hair work its magic so that it can shrink up my mini twists, micro twists, whatever you call them. 
so this is really what i did for my hair make sure that you always moisturize your hair before stretching it because it wasn't dry my hair wasn't dry it, it felt really nice because i had i had deep conditioned and then used leave-in conditioner sewed up uh, my my moisture and so my hair was was feeling good it felt really really good today i think it's been almost a week i have just been spraying the tea and oiling my scalp i haven't yet really used leave-in conditioner and my hair really feels moisturized still so make sure that you give your hair some love before you go in with these twists okay so yeah i think at this point i was just waiting for for the hair to work its magic to make sure that my hair had shrunk and so i just waited for a couple of minutes so that i should show you before i went to sleep so like you can tell on that side the hair was beginning to shrink and my ends had also curled up nicely so this is how my hair looked after it had shrunk and yeah it had not really shrunk that much but at least you can see that it shrunk so in case you've watched up to this far thank you very much make sure you subscribe and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up i will see you in my next video bye bye and thank you